You know, when most children enter the foster care system, they think it's only going to be for a few days, maybe a few weeks. Never do they expect for it to last years. And that's the case with the little girl you're about to meet. It's not easy being on TV. Yeah. In fact, it can be downright terrifying. She um, told me about it and I was like, oh, I'm so worried. But when you like painting as much as Lanisha. Keep on painting and painting and painting. Then you don't let a camera and a reporter get in the way. <laughs> what is this supposed to be sitting on? Um, I think it's a cloud or a flower. Lanisha is quite the little artist. I like to think about um, arts and crafts. Maybe because it's easier than thinking about what she's been through. Um, yeah. You want to answer that? Okay, that's okay. For the past six years, she's had to explain herself and her situation. She's realizing it makes her different than the other kids at her school. They say sometimes that I'm dumb. When you're 10 years old, you don't want to be different. Yeah, it's not fun. She wants what every child deserves. I've been waiting for a um, real family. Have a family that I can live with forever and ever and just like today's art project, she knows her life is a work in progress. I feel really happy. You do? Now that I got over my um, worriedness. Yeah, it's tough being on TV, but when the goal is finding a family, it's worth it. It will mean happiness to me, and that's all. <laughs> If you'd like to learn about Lanisha or the many other children that are living in the Utah foster care system right now, go to ksl.com adopt. I'm Ashley Kewish, KSL 5 News.